Hey there, welcome back to the homestead. Uh, I should say more specifically, our little nursery starter room. Yeah, let me let me show you what's going on and then we'll get to it. What we got going on here is just all sorts of different uh, veggies, kind of the more cool weather stuff we've started. Uh, we got cabbage, reds, greens, spinach, romaine lettuce, peas, icebergs, lettuce mixes, baby greens, lots to learn in the salad department, so we're just jumping in. Uh, over here, brassicas, cauliflower, broccoli, different types of broccoli. My favorite, butter lettuce. I'm going to do a lot of successions of that. <clears throat> Down here on the heat mat, we've got, I should say, onion. <laughs> uh, this should be Walla Walla's. And then in these four here, we got more onions of different types. We're just uh, trying out, see what works best. This space isn't necessarily what this video is about. This one's about a... We want to build a small modular um, greenhouse. That way, at some point, these tomatoes are going to get bigger, the cabbages are going to start getting bigger, and we're going to need to start up potting them before they get root bound. And I want to have somewhere to put them outside because we are going to run out of space here. So I have an idea. I have uh, materials. I've been collecting forever. So let's get started. Ah, I'm going to go get my hand shoes. going on here is just a small little portion of my uh, construction hoard. There's all sorts of stuff everywhere, but I just have a hard time uh, throwing away good material. <laughs> so I do my best to stack it up and save it for later. Got all the materials. Uh, this here was uh, actually some local lumber, lo local milled lumber. And uh, when you order a big lot of it, they give you kind of whatever they got. And uh, this stuff was kind of seconds, I guess you would say. I think it's gonna work great for this uh, greenhouse idea. Here's the plan, here's what I'm thinking. For the material that I have, I have one piece that's under 10 foot. I was thinking of a 10 by 10, but I think what we'll do is It'll probably be more like 10 by 9-ish. And then, um, oh, there's one other thing I forgot. And for attaching it to the, the PVC to the board, I was thinking some uh, two-hole straps. Oh, so I have five. I had planned this out a little bit. I have five pieces of uh, PVC. I was thinking of doing one on the ends, of course. And then I figure two four, six, eight, nine, ten. Hmm. It might be off a little bit. Maybe we'll go three foot. I think maybe three foot's the best, uh, three foot spread in between the um, PVCs. So let's get started. Inside or out? Inside seems like a safe... What I'm using here is just a two-hole strap, a uh, rigid two-hole strap. It's a 
little small for the three quarter inch PVC, but that uh, gives it a good tight uh, snug. Gives a good hug. And then uh, for screws, I just seem to have a lot of these um, Simpson strong drive screws. They do have some good meat on them and they, they grab the wood pretty well. That's one reason why I use them. And then I'm just, uh, on this edge here, I'm coming off a little bit. I'm not overthinking this thing too much. Got all this up looks pretty good let's take a peek what's going on here we got the three quarter inch pvc this is a 20 foot stick i cut off the bell ends or the end that you would stick the uh, next piece of pvc if you were using it for water and it's about mm, eight foot tall so it's not too bad i decided to go on the inside figuring you know, these things are going to want to be pushing out all the time. If we're moving it, I don't want to bang those up against something and they fall off. One other thing that I was looking at is, you know, these things are all wobbly. And once I put plastic on here, it's just going to kind of like go crazy. I think I have something that might work. Let's, uh, let's go back over to the boneyard. Seems like the dogs like it though. That's a good sign. It should be over here on the lumber rack. Yep, right there. This, let's see, get an end profile. That is what's known as hat channel. And, yeah, this should be enough. It's called hat channel because you flip it over, it kind of looks like a top hat. Or I guess maybe a fedora, I don't know. <laughs> Thought I had a little more plastic. <laughs> Let's see. Oh dear, not even close. I thought I had enough. I must have used it for something else and forgot. Um, but yeah, let me uh, let me go get that and we'll get back to work. So as you can see, I got to go to the market and get some materials. Uh, it does look like it's going to rain here soon. <laughs> Feels like it. Um, so I'm going to see what I can get done here. Uh, what I got was two one by threes, uh, actually four of them, and ripped one of them down. And uh, I also got some handles. We'll deal with those a little bit later. And um, some plastic. So I think you'll see what my plan is as we get going. So let me get to it. Notice that I'm starting these brackets way down here at the frame of it. The purpose of that is uh, it's a lot easier to set these brackets and also as I move this up to the height that I want it, it will um, basically be where it should be because we're lining up down here where it's good.
let's take a minute and talk about plastic. This here is a uh, six mil greenhouse plastic. Um, I just want to say, don't go to your, your depot of homes or your hardware store and just get some normal six mil plastic. It will not last the year. You'll have pieces of plastic all throughout your property. Um, yeah, greenhouse plastic is what you want. Uh, this stuff's good for about four years. They also sell uh, plastic that's kind of like a weave, like a tarp, and that'll last much longer. Um, I've seen this stuff last longer than four years most of the time. Um, I'm gonna get some clips to hold this onto the pipe. And, uh, oh, there's one other thing we have to do to the pipe before we can put the plastic on. All right, wish me luck. Whew. Okay, there we have it. We got that side put on. Uh, that's an easy part because you could just set it. This side is a little tougher because you need to pull down while you're doing it. It's probably easier with two. I'll give it a try by myself. Um, and then if not, I'll wait till um, Sarah gets home and have her give me a hand, but I'll give it a go. Ah, I got an idea. That's not bad, <laughs> doing pretty good. Uh, I got a couple more little finer details to do and then uh, the big reveal, whatever that means. I just wanted to show you is uh, this clip thing here. It's uh, PVC greenhouse clips and it basically just goes over the plastic and PVC and just holds it on there. Nothing too fancy, but uh, yeah, we'll do that. So let me finish this thing up and then see how we did. There we have it, quick and dirty mobile greenhouse. Uh, what, is, what do I got into it so far? Uh, about seven hours of labor, including filming it. Um, Cost-wise, about 200 to 250 bucks where I live, Northern California, everything's more expensive here. That includes PVC pipe, the one by material for holding the plastic, the metal brackets, the two hole straps, and uh, the plastic. The plastic was the big ticket item. Uh, 160 bucks for a 48 by 20 foot section of it. I only used half of it for this, so I'm, technically I could do another one with it. So I'm figuring about 80 bucks for plastic. A uh, couple creature comforts that we added. I did two handles on either side so we could pick it up and move it around easily. On the corners here, I added a strap to give it some rigidity over time and roll-ups. I did some pipe with the clips to roll up the sides along with a old copper wire and a screw to hold it up. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty satisfied. We'll see how it does. Oh, and then for the door, just uh, some clamps and uh, plastic. I did just plastic end walls rather than building them out for weight and time. Like I said, I'm trying not to overdo this thing is something I tend to do, <laughs> but I'm pretty satisfied. Next up, I got a transplant so I can start putting plants in here. So that's all I got to say about that. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.